Norway's oil and gas industry stands as a cornerstone of the nation's economy, fueling growth, innovation, and prosperity for decades. At the heart of this thriving industry lie some of the world's largest and most advanced offshore oil and gas rigs. Let's take a look at Norway's biggest oil and gas rigs, delving into their significance, impact, and contributions to the nation's energy landscape. Norway is the second largest producer of oil and gas in Europe after Russia. Commercial drilling started in the early 1970s on the Norwegian continental shelf, which includes offshore activities in the North Sea, Norwegian Sea, and Barents Sea. The oil and gas industry is one of the most significant contributors to Norway's economy, accounting for around 20% of the country's total GDP. Troll is a natural gas and oil field located in the Norwegian sector of the North Sea, renowned as one of the largest in the region, holding 40% of Norway's gas reserves. It also possesses significant quantities of oil in thin zones under the gas cap to the west of the field. The field covers just over 700 square kilometers across four North Sea blocks. That corresponds to about 100,000 football pitches, three times the 241 square kilometers covered by the enlarged city of Stavanger and 1.5 times the size of Oslo. The field is managed by Petoro, holding a significant 56% stake. Joining as partners are Equinor with 30.58% stake, Shell PLC with 8.1%, Conoco Phillips with 1.62%, and Total Energies with a 3.69% stake. Standing as a symbol of Norway's engineering prowess, the Troll A platform reigns supreme as one of the largest and most iconic offshore structures in the world. The Troll A platform is an engineering marvel that stands 472 meters tall and weighs 683,600 tons. 1.2 million tons with ballast. It is the tallest structure ever moved by humanity. The platform is supported by four legs extending down to the sea floor, which is 303 meters below the sea's surface. The leg containing the import and export risers has an elevator that takes over nine minutes to travel from the platform to the sea floor. A total of 600 to 700 wells with a combined length of 2 million meters have been drilled there. In 2022, 80 producers were on stream. The record well then provided about 6,500 barrels per day or 10% of the oil being produced from the field. Before it came on stream, crude output from Troll was in decline, but new technology made it possible to access even more of the resources. With its towering height and massive weight, the Troll A platform represents a monumental feat of engineering capable of extracting vast reserves of natural gas from deep beneath the seabed. Troll A was also the first platform on the Norwegian continental shelf to receive power from shore, showcasing an innovative approach. Troll gas consists of the Troll A platform, the gas processing plant at Kolsnes near Bergen, and the pipelines between the platform and onshore plant. Norska Shell spearheaded the first Troll East gas development phase, which was approved by the Norwegian parliament in December 1986. In a strategic move, Norway agreed with Shell to relocate the processing facilities, initially planned for the A platform, to a plant onshore at Kolsnes near Bergen. This decision not only simplified the offshore gas production platform, but also reduced the crew size, a significant step in operational efficiency. Gas deliveries from the field under the Troll sales agreements started on the 1st of October the same year. Up until then, the commitments in the agreements that entered into effect on the 1st of October 1993 had been met by deliveries from the Sleipner East field in the North Sea. As gas is produced in the Troll field, the pressure in the reservoir drops. More compression is therefore needed to help drive the gas production through the pipelines to Colesness. Consequently, four compressors powered from shore have been installed on the A platform. As a result, there are zero carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide emissions from the installation and from the gas processing plant on shore. Up until August 2021, the Troll West oil was produced towards Troll B and Troll C. In August 2021, the Troll West gas cap was put on stream through eight subsea wells producing towards Troll A. This project increases the Troll gas production by 347 billion standard cubic meters. The Troll B and Troll C platforms are responsible for production from the thin oil-bearing layers located in Troll West on the North Sea's Troll field. 
The Troll C platform, which began production in 1999, is a conventional steel hull semi-submersible designed by GVA consultants. Troll B is a floating processing and accommodation platform with a concrete substructure, while Troll C is a similar platform with a steel jacket. When Troll B came on stream in 1995, nine oil wells and one gas injector had been pre-drilled. For more than 21 years, the platform has delivered high oil volumes with excellent regularity. The average daily oil production has been 20,600 cubic meters. The oil bearing layers in the Troll West oil province measure between 22 and 26 meters, whereas in the Troll West gas province, they measure between 11 and 13 meters. Advanced drilling and production technology is required to extract oil from these thin oil layers. The subsea installations in the Fram, Fram H North, and Birding field developments are linked by pipelines to the Troll Sea platform, where the well stream from the fields is processed. Norway's giant oil and gas rigs stand as remarkable achievements of human engineering and innovation. These towering structures, located in the harsh and unforgiving environment of the North Sea, serve as vital hubs of energy production, driving economic growth and prosperity for the nation. As Norway continues to harness its offshore resources responsibly and sustainably, these rigs will remain symbols of its commitment to excellence in the energy sector. Make sure to let us know your thoughts and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video.